Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Becky Timms here for The Drive at Five. And I just wanted to jump on here today and shoot a very quick video regarding Amazon fees. So um, yesterday I did not do a Drive at Five because actually it was a pretty crappy day. And if you're on my newsletter, then you will see exactly why it was a crappy day. But today I'm actually sitting out here at my son's um, baseball game. He's getting ready to start. So I'm going to have to hurry up and um, do this drive at 5. Hey, Cassie. Cassie just did my hair. Y'all like my hair? She did a great job. You know, there's only, I was telling her, there's only like once a month or once every six weeks when my hair looks good. And it's because she did it. So thanks, Cassie. Um... But I was talking about Amazon fees, and so for those of you that don't know me, name, my name is Becky Timms. I'm also known as the Amazon Queen. Hey, Sequita. And I um, teach people how to earn their first dime online through e-commerce. And today I wanted to talk about Amazon fees. So the first thing is referral fees, and this really depends on, hey, Angela, this really depends on what category you're selling in. But it's usually it usually ranges around eight to fifteen percent. Now, depending on how fast your inventory inventory moves or how slow your inventory moves, sometimes Amazon gives you a referral discount um, for having cer certain fees. Hey, Natasha, having certain or for selling certain items, so they'll give you a discount maybe for a couple months or a month, and this is on a case-by-case -case basis, but I'm not sure how Amazon picks who gets the referral fee and who doesn't, but it's definitely something to look into. Another one is a closing fee. Now, this one would only be in like the media category. I personally don't sell in the media category, but you can save like one to two dollars per item for like DVDs and things of that nature. And the reason I don't sell in there is because um, there's a lot of counterfeits and my Amazon account is too precious to lose to um, closing fees. The other fees with Amazon, there's two types of accounts. You can get a non-professional account and that's where you pay 99 cents per item to um, sell on Amazon. And then the second one is a professional account and it's $39.99, so approximately $40 a month to sell on Amazon. So it makes sense if you sell more than 40 units to go ahead and get the professional account. Also, if you want to take part in FBA, which is fulfilled by Amazon, which I highly, highly recommend that you do, you want to um, buy or have the professional account so that you can get access to Amazon's millions and millions and millions of prime customers. And those are the customers that pay a $99 fee each year just to shop on Amazon and get free two-day shipping. And it's amazing um, how much your sales will increase when you do participate in Amazon FBA, which is fulfilled by Amazon. Another thing is there are FBA fees. Now, these fees are based on the dimensions and the weight of your item. So they have standard fees, they have oversized fees, it's different fees depending on whether it's January through September or October through December. So for example, you can, thanks Terry. For, so for example, you, oh Terry said she likes my hair for those that are watching the um, replay. I'm sure Cassie likes that too. Um, but so January through September, the fees are a little more higher. So let's say, for example, you're selling a t-shirt. It would be approximately $3.39 in the um, in FBA fees for January through September, and then October through December, you would pay $3.28. So it's a little bit cheaper on your FBA fees um, for that t-shirt. Actually, it's about 11 cents cheaper. Now the flip side to that is storage fees are increased during October through December. So you have to have some really good supply chain management so you um, don't increase your fees. Also, um, for those of you that don't know, you can do um, multi-channel fulfillment. So for my private label items, I have people that drop ship my items, but then I also have myself that sells on eBay. 
So, hey Darius, thank you. So I sell on eBay, and if someone were to purchase one of my drop shipped items from, e I'm sorry, one of my private label items from eBay, when I get the order, I can just go into my back office and have Amazon send the product directly to eBay, and that's called multi-channel fulfillment. So if I wanted to create a Shopify store, or create a, um, or sell it on eBay or my own website. I could definitely have Amazon just be the person that stores my product for me. So you can also use Amazon in that capacity as well. You also need to think about shipping fees um, to Amazon. So let's say that you do online arbitrage and that's where you buy something from a store, from a website, and it's cheaper online than it is on Amazon. So there's there's a couple of things. One, you're going to have to pay for shipping from the store to you. And if you're a really good shopper, you're going to negotiate free shipping. So you won't have that shipping fee. But then your shipping fee, once you get it, or or I say to you or to a FBA fulfillment center. And then once you get that item, you physically have to mail it in to Amazon. Well, if your item is you know, very lightweight. Like I can mail a 26 pound box to Amazon from my house for less than $6, 26 pounds. And it's a big box. It's about, I don't know, 24 inches wide um, and maybe 12 inches deep, but it weighs 26 pounds and I can mail it for less than $6. So you have super, super, super cheap shipping on Amazon because Amazon passes along their, um, steep discounts when you're using UPS or FedEx. So these are just some of the um, things. 40 pounds went for $11 yesterday. Awesome, Kendall. I'm so glad to see, one, that you're feeding the beast, and two, that you got such cheap shipping. That's pretty amazing. 40 pounds for $11. So that's about, you know, 26 pounds for six bucks. That's pretty good. Actually, my cheapest shipping was probably less, like around $5 and some change was the cheapest that I've been able to send in. So, um, so here's just a recap of the items. You have the referral fee, which is, you know, the eight to 15%, depending on the category that you're selling in. You have your closing fee only for media. You have your non-professional fee of 99 cents per item or your professional fee. Now, if you have a professional account, that 99 cent per item goes away. So that that's kind of negates itself. Um, then your FBA fees are based on the dimensions and weight of your products. And that's why we always say um, when you first start out private labeling, it's a really good idea to choose smaller items so that you can, um, you know, start getting your feet wet with private label before you start ordering the 20 and 30 pounds, which would cost more to ship through air or by boat um, to wherever you live. Or, to, or directly to Amazon as well. And then um, you have the shipping fees, and then also you can go to FBA Calculator. You can Google FBA Calculator, and they have um, two sides. One is Merchant Fulfilled. That means you're gonna mail it um, to, you're gonna mail it to the customer yourself, or you can do Amazon FBA Fulfilled, and it will give you the shipping fees and the FBA fees for both of those. Um, shipping method. So I hope this really helps you um, if you're deciding whether to sell on Amazon or not. You know, I, I think about my $40 a month to, that I pay to Amazon and I don't know, before I even wake up in the morning, sell two items and the $40 is already covered in one day. So I, it's, it's a no-brainer for me, but I know you have to make an informed decision for yourself. And so I would highly recommend the professional account. I would highly recommend um, jumping into Amazon, um, sticking your toe in the water, but don't diving into the deep end unless you have a lifeguard there that knows exactly the, uh, knows how to save you for one, and two, um, knows the ins and outs of Amazon and has made many mistakes. And Lord knows I've made many, many mistakes on Amazon. And I'm grateful for each one of them because I've learned 
something from every one of them. So if you're brand new to e-commerce, you're looking to earn some extra money, send me a message. I can show you um, however you want to sell online. It doesn't have to be Amazon. I can point you in the right direction. So just call me a pointer sister. So I'm off to watch my son's game. Hope you all have an amazing day. I'll talk to you tomorrow on The Drive at Five. Becky Tim signing off. Bye.